Hi, I'm Lou, and today I'm going to show you how to build a website. It's easy to add links, pictures, videos, and even take payments for items you'd like to sell. First, we're going to go to sites.google.com. If you don't have a Google login already, you'll have to create one. And then once you're here, you just create the site. It's got a lot of fancy templates you can use for this. I'll just use a plain one. Then we name our site. Let's just call this one How to Lisa. And there it is down there. And then we just have to type in this code to make sure that we're not a computer and press enter. And there it is. The site is already created. Simple enough. Now let's add some stuff to our site. You click on the pencil. The editor's here. Say this is my new website. Easy enough. Let's insert a link. Uh, we want to go to a web address. We'll call it um, how to Lou site and just put in the link is www.howtolu.com and click OK. Now, next time someone clicks on that, it will take you to that website. What else can we add? Let's add a picture. Insert an image. Choose a file off your hard drive. Open. It loads it and hit OK. You can choose small, medium, or large on the picture. I will choose small so it doesn't take up much space, but you can do whatever you want. Now let's add a video. Insert a video, a YouTube video. And you just have to paste in the URL of the video. So let's go grab a YouTube video. Here we go. How to write a flow writer. Right at the top of the page, that YouTube URL is what you need. Copy that and paste it right there. I don't like to put all these borders and things on there. You can turn those off or on, whatever you like. Save. And there's the video. And it won't show up until we actually save the page. Uh, and let's do that now. Let's go ahead and save the page. So now it's pretty much ready to go. You can just click on this to go to a how-to. This is the picture we just put in, and you can actually play the video right now from there. Suppose I want to sell something. I have a product I want to sell. So what you do is you go over to PayPal. So uh, you'll have to get a PayPal account if you don't already have one. Under their Products and Services tab, click on Get Paid, Sell Online, Accept Payments from Anyone, Sell on My Own Website, and Find Out More. And this takes you to the PayPal Payments Standard page. And there's a phone number down here to help you get started, or you can click on that. And there's a really great video here you can play to learn how to set up a PayPal merchant account. And it's free. The good news is it doesn't cost anything to start, and you pay a certain percentage every time you sell something. And then you click on the Merchant Services tab once you're set up with a merchant account. And we want to create a button for our website. And what kind of we want to buy now button? There's different ones you can look at. Uh, let's call it we want to sell a widget. Don't need an item ID. We'll charge $10 for our widget. We will uh, just take this standard icon. You can make it a little bit different if you want. You can customize here. And down here, just click create button. And what it does is it generates this HTML for you, which is a big pile of stuff you really don't need to understand. Just say select code and then control C to copy it. Now let's go back to our 
page we were working on. And in this case, what we have to do is, what I'm going to put is a couple of lines just so you can see where I'm going to put this. Um, you don't paste it right there. You actually go to this link right here that says HTML. Now this gets a little messy. I'm sorry about that, but you can see right there. You see that those lines right there and there. That's telling us that that is where we're going to insert this stuff. Paste. And it stuffed all that text, all that code right there into this thing. Like I said, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to understand it. Just hit update, and then it will show up as a embedded gadget. And then when you save it, it shows up as a buy now. And when someone clicks on that, they will actually be taken to the PayPal accept payment page where you can they can type in their credit card and send you money. Simple as that. You're done as far as having a website. You can tell your friends that the website address is sites.google.com slash site slash how to Lisa. And they can go there and try it out. Of course, this is kind of an ugly site. So if you want a fancy name to put instead of that, just copy this. I'll hang on to that for a minute. I'm going to go to, go, just go to Google and type in GoDaddy. There are other sites. I've always used this one. I like it. I see there's some other ones, register.com and so forth. But you want to buy a dom domain name, you know, basically a um, vanity name for your site. So what I would suggest is that you Google GoDaddy and go to here where it says at the top it's an ad. You can get domain names for $5 a year, whereas if you go down to the regular link, it's more like $13 a year. So go through this route and then type in the name of your site that you want. Let's try how to lisa.com. See if that's available. It is available and it says it's available for $13 but in reality when you put it in your your cart it'll only turn out to be $5 a year. Once you've purchased your domain name you want to go to my account and configure it. So I'll click on my domains and I have a ton of them so I'll just pick one. We'll launch in to show you how this works. Click on forward and forward, dom forward domain and then you can add forwarding. I've already added forwarding on this one but I'll show you what it looks like. If I edit it you can see my website vanity name is avionfoos.com but the actual the actual website is sites.google.com slash site slash foosball club and so let's go back to our Google page you can see that's the same as this what you basically do is copy this sites.google.com slash site slash how to Lisa and then you would put it over in your in your configuration page if you had howtolisa.com you put all that in right in here and it takes know, a couple hours to update but then it's ready you can go to howtolisa.com and see your website and that only costs you five dollars per year for a nice vanity URL oh one other thing choose forward with masking and then just put the title right there and then it'll show up as if that's the URL to your website Thank you for watching and good luck building your website.